All right, Eduardo has a question uh, also relates to Apple's uh, week of announcements. He says, today I'm living with a 16-inch M1 MacBook Pro and a studio display. I'm happy with this setup, but I want to add a new extra monitor. And I also want to add a headless Mac to take on my automations and act as like a Plex server, a backups for me and my wife and everything else that I can think of throwing at it. Cool. The thing to think about is, Am I better off buying a studio display and a Mac mini M4 or an iMac M4? What are your ideas? The cost difference is about the same uh, or isn't too big. He says the main goal is to have a machine that will last a long time. So, uh, and then he says he's been listening since 2011, which is amazing. Thanks, Eduardo. That's fantastic. Love that. There's not that big of a cost difference in with how he's specking things out he's saying correct yep oh, that's a tough one i i i think i would and this may be my old 80s component stereo days coming back to me but like i think i would go the the studio display mac mini route because now those things are independent and you can upgrade and swap them out and deal with them as separate pieces of technology. I love the form factor of the iMac. I think it's gorgeous, but I feel like more and more these days, like having that option to like swap things out, swap things around. He mentions he has a, a Mac studio already, right? I think he said. So it just, it feels like that would be the better way to go if, if the price is not dramatically different and the fact that apple doesn't let you use an old imac as a display just still irks me i i am i i was all in on the imac train right i had an imac in my office i had an imac up here in the studio and they had replaced imacs before them like i was all in 27 inches of 5k goodness right you bought the display and you got a free computer uh attached to the back of it right and I loved that when my iMac unceremoniously just stopped working. The display actually is what, what broke on, on the iMac that I had here in the studio, the, the 2019, 27 inch core I nine, it was doing great. And then suddenly the lightning that hit way too close to the house, uh, decided not to uh, let that display work anymore. And, uh, I moved to a Mac studio at that point with a separate display. I've got the Philips 27 inch display. I already had moved in the office. I wound up having a deal where somebody traded me a domain. I had a domain name and they had a M one fully decked out Mac mini and they offered a trade. And I said, sure, sure. Yeah. <laughs> the $8 domain that I bought that I'm not going to use <laughs> paid off. Woo. -hoo! You know? Um, so, so I, I moved in the office too, and now I'm, I'm completely uh, detached from any iMac dependence. And it's wonderful. I mean, I still have two iMacs sitting on the floor of my office because it kills me that, you know, one of them is a fine server computer with, whose display doesn't work. And the other is a fine display whose computer is, you know, too old to be right. functional. And I just need to let go of that and throw the d dispose of them appropriately, whatever that path is. But it, it irks me that I have like that. These things aren't separate. And so I am off of the iMac train now. I, yeah. and, and Apple, if Apple had continued to offer a 27 inch iMac, that's what I would have bought in the studio to replace the iMac that was here, but they don't. And I am convinced, and I might be wrong about this, but I am convinced that for myself, the 24 inch screen would be too small. I have two, actually three screens here in the studio, although one of them just sits behind me with our logo on it when we do the show. But yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I feel I, like... I'm very happy with the component stereo model again for a desktop computer. Yeah, and the only last thing I wanna say on this is I feel like we as a community, especially since Apple is always on about their environmental initiatives, we should be way more critical of them not making that a feature of the iMac brick and old iMac can be used as a display because they have a long useful life. They wouldn't have to be in landfills and in junk or recycled or whatever you do with them when they get old. If Apple would just, I mean, I, I can't imagine that there's any massive technical limitation or cost to allowing that to happen. It's fair.
And and as uh, Paul Conaway in the chat per, uh, pointed out, Luna um, Luna display from Astropad will turn your um, your I, I think you can turn an iMac. It showed up with the iPad. Yeah, on, but, but you know it's yep. imperfect. But correct, it, it does work. <laughs> like, yeah, let me plug in the Thunderbolt cable and make it a Thunderbolt display. Like it can happen. It can be yep. a thing. It can be a physical connection without latency. That's amazing. It's a, they're gorgeous. Like you said, they're high quality, gorgeous displays and they're just being wasted. Yeah. Literally wasted when someone replaces it. 